here at Hummingbirds off the deep end at the Jägermeister workbench, my good buddy John Cooper from Diversion Charters, as well as Melanie Hausch Hello is there. here, and Melanie's going to help us. But, you know, Froggy, tell me why people <clears throat> love to spearfish. Well, it's by far and away the most selective type of fishing where you can, you can, um, you can pursue any species you want, except now you're in their environment dealing with them in, on their turf. So let me ask you, what do we look for once you decide to go, you well, know, habitat? Just like rod and reel fishing, you want to look for bottom structure, ledges, you know, reefs, rocks, wrecks are really popular on the west coast. Um, offshore, just like when you're dolphin fishing, you want to look for weed lines, birds, floating debris is by far and away the best. So what, what do we need, Frog? Let's say we decide to go. So let's talk a little bit about equipment. Okay. Well, the basics, obviously, you need a mask and snorkel. Uh, Preferably a low volume mask, you need a weight belt, you're naturally buoyant, you have to offset your buoyancy. Right. On the weight belt, it's always a good idea to have a knife, it's a huge, huge safety item. Some people prefer it on their leg, I like it on the belt. Occasionally you might need a flashlight, they come in LED now. Um, you get a fish stuck in the rock, you got to penetrate through the silt or the blood, it helps you see. And you need fins. Um, fins, the sky's the limit, there's a million different shapes, sizes, materials. These are carbon fiber by far and away the best material to uh, maximize the least amount of energy to transfer, you know, the, from your leg to the water, it's the most efficient. All right, obviously we're talking about spear fishing this week, so we gotta have a gun of some sort. So you got two different guns here, John, tell me about them. Well, you got a few choices. Um, there's a lot of guns where it's just a free spear, where the spear actually leaves the gun. A lot uh -huh. of scuba divers prefer that. This is a real gun where when you shoot the fish, you, you start your way back to the surface, you put the reel in free spool, and then when you get to the surface, you could kind of manage or fight the fish with the reel. That's one choice. The other way is uh, a gun that is attached to a float line, which is most popular offshore. There's a couple different float lines. Um, in this case scenario, you um, shoot the fish, and the float line most of the time is attached directly to the spear, so in blue water scenario, it's a wahoo or a dolphin, soft flesh. You're just kind of managing the fish back with the float line. You don't want to take a chance on tearing it out. So the float line kind of slips through your hand like a drag on a reel. Right. And that's, that's the best way for offshore. Now, what is the, why do we have this big buoy here? Is it a different type of line, Frog? This line you would probably use with a float line if you were on the reef. It's a little more durable. The rubber one is, slips through the water. It's a little better in the blue water. There's a couple different floats. This one is great for traveling because it's inflatable. The package, you know, it squeezes down to nothing. You can keep a stringer on one end. I always like to have a whistle on one end for safety. All right, now certainly Melanie's wearing some type of protected, some type of skin, and then you have this wetsuit. Tell me what the differences are. Well, we're in August, right. peak summer. Water's about as warm as it can get. So all you really need is a skin. It just kind of like protect, protects wearing. you from the elements. They also come in every different camo pattern. You can kind of match your environment. Some people like the blue ones for offshore. This is a Digitech uh, pattern. There's a million different patterns and, 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 and thicknesses. You know, a three mil suit, you could pretty much get by all year in Florida. All right, now I see this little bottle of baby shampoo, that's, John. What that, is that about? That's just the most simplest handy thing. Well, you need this to get into the wetsuit because you have to lubricate the, the rubber in order to slip it on. But we always keep a five gallon bucket with some soap all the time. You get out of the water, you throw your mask in it. And right. that keeps it from fogging up. All right, Melanie, step back out there. Why do we have that big, long extension or, you know, the, why didn't you trim the belt? Uh, the safety purposes. It's a good, quick release to release the weight belt if you get in trouble. Oh, okay. So if you've got to come up from the surface, you want to get rid of that weight? Yep, You just simply quick. just pull that and it comes off. Oh, yep. yeah. 